Hello everyone, Roland Robles here with MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to look at the tab and slot functionality inside SOLIDWORKS 2018. Anytime we're putting two components together, we always run into the challenge of how to fixture these two components when assembling them. In this case, I want to create a self-fixturing part so that way as I put these guys together, I don't have to have an external jig or fixture to make these together. In this case, I'm going to leverage my tab and slot feature, and the functionality is super simple to use. In this first window, we want to select an edge of one part that will be mating to another. In this case, I'm putting two sheet metal parts together, so I'm going to select the edge of my first sheet metal component. In the second window, I'm going to choose the mating face that I want the slot to be extended to. In this case, I'm going to choose the back of the second sheet metal part. Once I do that, you're going to start seeing a preview of your tabs and the slots that you're going to be creating. In this example, I just want two tabs, so I'm going to change the quantity of two. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see a length feature. This is the length of the tab. I'm going to type in 20 millimeter. If I come down towards the bottom, you're going to see the edge type. This dictates the corner of the tab. You can choose square, which will leave a sharp. You can use chamfer, or my favorite is simply radius or fillet. We're going to give this a one millimeter fillet. The last feature that you're going to see down here at the bottom is the actual amount of clearance that the mated slot is going to get around this tab. In this case we're going to give it a one millimeter clearance all the way around my tab feature. The last thing you're going to see is see this option called offset. This offset gives you the ability to control the location of these tabs and these slots. In this case, I want it 5 millimeters from the beginning of the edge, and I want the second slot 5 millimeters from the end of the edge. Once I do that, I hit my green check mark, just like any other feature. And if I rotate the part around, you'll start seeing my tab and my slot command. I'm going to hide this first component so you can see the intelligent slot that was built into the second sheet metal part. If I reverse this, what you'll notice is that automatically I've got my tab that fixtures this together with part number one. The neat thing about this is they are built into the part, so editing this is as simple as editing any other feature. Thank you for joining in, and we hope to catch you on the next video.